Have you ever wondered how we could unravel the intricate complexity of the brain? How can we map billions of neurons, identify functional regions, and analyze the brain's vast data? The answer lies in a powerful tool used in neuroscience called Self-Organizing Maps, or SOMS. Imagine trying to categorize a library of billions of books without a system. The task would be nearly impossible. Now, think of the brain as this vast library, with neurons as the books. SOMS act as the organizing system, grouping neurons based on their structural features, such as morphology, dendritic arborization, and axonal projections. By training SOMS on neuronal data, researchers can classify neurons into different types, making the library of the brain a bit more manageable. But that's not all. The brain isn't just a collection of neurons. It's also a tapestry of functional regions, each responsible for specific cognitive or motor functions. Identifying these regions is like finding specific themes or genres in our library. SOMS can analyze functional data, like fMRI or EEG data, to identify and map these functional regions. This allows us to see which parts of the brain are responsible for tasks like vision, motor control, or language processing. Of course, understanding a library goes beyond knowing the books and their genres. It's also about understanding how they're interconnected. Similarly, mapping the connections between neurons is fundamental to deciphering brain function. By applying SOMS to neural connectivity data, researchers can identify patterns of connectivity, exploring the brain's complex wiring diagram. Now consider the sheer volume of data the brain generates. It's like trying to make sense of every single word in our library of billions of books. SOMS help us manage this by reducing the dimensionality of neural data, enabling visualization of neural structures and activity patterns on a 2D or 3D grid. This visualization can reveal relationships and help neuroscientists identify trends and outliers in the data. SOMS also play a crucial role in disease and disorder research. They can identify abnormal patterns in neuronal data associated with conditions like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, or epilepsy. This is akin to finding books in our library that are out of place or exhibit unusual characteristics. Finally, in the realm of behavioral neuroscience, SOMS can shed light on the neural circuits involved in decision-making and behavior. It's like understanding the narratives and themes that drive the stories in our books. In conclusion, self-organizing maps are more than just a tool, they're a lifeline for neuroscientists. They allow for the categorization, analysis and understanding of the brain's intricate structures and functions. By using SOMS, we can advance research in cognitive science, clinical neuroscience, and develop treatments for neurological and psychiatric conditions. Indeed, SOMS are essential for making sense of the complex and multifaceted nature of the brain's architecture and functionality.